Elon Musk's next target will be Facebook. Yes, it's no secret how lame Elon Musk thinks Facebook is. So it wouldn't be surprising if he purchases it on purpose and then deletes it. Join us now to find out what's on Musk's mind about Facebook's future. After the tweet went viral on the internet, many people speculated that Elon Musk may acquire Facebook and then delete it. When it comes to purchasing, Tesla owner Elon Musk has been outspoken. He didn't hold back when it came to his thoughts on purchasing Twitter. Many individuals felt the agreement would never be completed. However, after much deliberation, it was agreed that he would purchase the platform. Having a public platform that is maximally trusted and broadly inclusive is extremely important to the future of civilization, he said Thursday. I don't care about the economics at all. We presume it's because he has some serious political and social views about how Twitter should be governed, and he believes it isn't. We also believe he receives a lot of joy and usefulness from tweeting and wishes that it be improved for his use. Because he is a very weird public character on Twitter, the worth of his firm has increased and he definitely sees a great deal of value in tweeting and likely wants to control that for himself. Twitter, which has over 215 million active daily users, was once a public business owned by shareholders and governed by a board of directors. But now that billionaire Elon Musk has bought the social media network for $44 billion and promised to take it private, every business and strategic decision made by Twitter will be controlled by one man, the world's richest person and a volatile, contentious personality. What does this imply for the future of the very powerful site which serves as a crucial tool for corporate and political leaders? as well as a daily news and information source for millions of people, but is also a source of disinformation, falsehoods, bigotry, personal attacks, and poisonous language. What would it imply for somebody like former President Donald Trump, who was notoriously barred from Twitter for disseminating false information about January 6, 2021 attack on the US Capitol? And maybe you can recall when Musk declared his ownership of 9% of Twitter, transforming the company into a meme stock and driving its shares up 27%. Then he was going to be a board member, but only if he agreed not to possess more than 15% of the company's stock. He changed his mind about the board seat somewhere this weekend, and now he's engaging in what is, even for him, a very extraordinary corporate troll. Musk, Twitter's second largest stakeholder, issued the $54.20 per share offer to the company on April 13th. That is a 54% premium over the share price before Musk began buying stock and a 38% premium over the share price on April Fool's Day, which happened to be the final trading day before Musk declared his Twitter ownership. Musk's major interest is free speech, according to the SEC filing for the offer. I think it's very important for there to be an inclusive arena for free speech, he remarked in today's TED Talk. Twitter has become kind of the de facto town square. So, it's just really important that people have both the reality and the perception that they're able to speak freely within the bounds of the law. Musk has also stated that he tweets while on the toilet. Musk has always had a broad interpretation of the First Amendment, and we're not sure he realizes it just refers to government repression of speech. But we're also not sure he cares. I invested in Twitter as I believe in its potential to be the platform for free speech around the globe. And I believe free speech is a social imperative for a functioning democracy. He wrote this in his SEC filing. So what's the deal with the takeover? Since making my investment, I now realize the company will neither thrive nor serve this societal imperative in its current form. Twitter needs to be transformed as a private company, he says. It's unclear what these alterations would be. Musk has suggested an edit button, complained about top Twitter users who don't post enough, and proposed a new authentication layer for Twitter Blue, in between visits to Berlin fetish clubs. Product recommendations are fine, but we don't really understand how they directly relate to the bottom line. On April 26, several individuals saw a tweet that said, Now, I'm going to buy Facebook and delete it. Elon remarked on April 25th, the day he sealed the acquisition, according to the screenshot. Several individuals were persuaded that the tweet came from Tesla's owner. If you look at his recent tweets, you will note that he did not make this tweet. Elon had already stated that he might be open to purchasing Twitter, so the screenshot regarding Facebook appeared more credible. Elon tweeted in 2017, I love Twitter. Dave Smith answered this, you should buy it then. 
he said. And what is the price? While this interaction appeared to be typical discourse at the time, individuals were taken aback by how Elon's takeover of the platform revealed itself. Elon stated on April 25th that he had paid $44 billion for the deal. Mark Zuckerberg is the founder and CEO of Facebook and Instagram. These two platforms, in addition to Twitter, have grown in popularity over the years. There is little question that Elon's choice to acquire the platform represents a significant financial investment. Twitter CEO Brett Taylor confirmed the transaction was completed. As reported by CBC in a statement, he added, The Twitter board of directors conducted a deliberate and comprehensive process of evaluating Elon's proposal with an intentional focus on value, certainty, and funding. The proposed transaction will provide a significant cash premium, and we believe it is the best path forward for Twitter shareholders, he said. Although Elon Musk is particularly active on Twitter, he appears to be less appreciative of Facebook. On Saturday, Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk labeled Facebook lame, adding hashtag delete Facebook in reaction to an anti-Facebook post by Hollywood actor, writer, director, and producer Sasha Baron Cohen. Musk removed both the Tesla and SpaceX Facebook profiles in March 2018, claiming that he didn't realize his firms had pages on the network. Musk tweeted at the time, looks lame anyway. I don't use FB and never have. Musk tweeted in March 2018, so don't think I'm some kind of martyr on my companies or taking a huge blow. It's not a political statement and I didn't do this because someone dared me to do it, Musk said on Twitter after removing his firm's Facebook sites. I just don't like Facebook. Give me the willies. Sorry. Musk also deactivated his Instagram account in August 2018. And we all know that Instagram is a subsidiary of Facebook. Meanwhile, images of his tweets allegedly sent from Tesla CEO Elon Musk's official Twitter handle have gone viral on social media networking platforms, with captions erroneously claiming Musk intends to acquire Facebook and then delete it like he did Twitter. Now, I'm going to buy Facebook and delete it, haha, says the popular post. That tweet, however, contains no truth. According to a source, there was no tweet on Elon Musk's Twitter timeline. On Musk's timeline, there was no tweet recommending buying and deleting Facebook. Even Musk's Twitter archives did not yield any such information. A lot of tweets about Facebook were identified even in the Twitter advanced search, where the phrase Facebook was searched. None of these tweets, however, use the same wording as the screenshot that went viral. As a result, it has been proven that Elon Musk did not make any such remarks regarding buying Facebook on Twitter. So, people, you can relax for a while since nobody is going to take your favorite meme sharing platform away from you. Anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. See you all next time. Goodbye.